Today I'm going to teach you guys how to flare your own jeans in five easy steps and by the end of this video you should have your own pair of custom baggy jeans. Man, I miss the days when I could go to the thrift store and find baggy jeans double my size. But now all the TikTok fashion warriors have raided my value village. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. But it's okay, because today we're going to make our own custom flared baggy jeans with a twist, which you'll see a little bit later on. I've broken it down into five easy steps, but before we move on to step one, hi, my name's Ben Jagger. If you're new around here, I make custom hoodies and custom clothes. I got my own clothing brand as well. But yeah, enough about me. Let's flare some jeans. I've got these two pairs of jeans that I'm going to be using today. You need two pairs of jeans to do this. One to sew the fabric into and one to borrow the fabric from. You're also going to need a seam ripper, a ruler, chalk or something else to mark your jeans with, scissors, pins and a sewing machine. And once you have all this, you're ready to move on to step one. The first step in flaring your jeans is opening up either the out seam or the in seam with a seam ripper. Today I'm going to be working with the out seam because I think it looks cooler this way. Take your seam ripper and open up the hem on both legs. Once you've done this, you'll have access to the out seam. Take the seam ripper and open up the out seam as high as you want your flare panels to go. Do not rip all the way up. You're just going to complicate things later on. Once you've done this, your jeans should look something like this. And at this point, we're ready to move on to step two. The next step is determining how much denim we want to add to the flare. Now take your second pair of jeans because we're going to mark out a triangle to cut out from them. Here's the twist that I'm going to do on my pair. I'm going to use the waistband as the new hem on my flare piece. It'll make sense when I'm actually doing it. Measure out how high you ripped the out seam because this is the measurement we're going to go off of. For me, that was 26 inches. Now you need to decide how wide you want your flare to be. I'm going to go with 7 inches. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So I'm going to mark three and a half inches on either side of my straight line. Now I'm going to connect the dots and make a triangle. From here you need to add a seam allowance. I'm going with half inch seam allowance. That's pretty standard across the board. If you're doing a regular hem, you'll want to add the appropriate seam allowance for that. But because I'm using the waistband as my hem, I don't need to worry about this. And now we're ready to move on to step three. We've got our flare panels traced. Next step is to cut them out. Take your fabric scissors and cut along the seam allowance lines. And once you got your panels cut out, you're ready for step four. Now we're gonna pin the flare panels into the first pair of jeans. Put the fabrics right side together so that you're looking at the wrong side of each. Make sure to line up the edges and the hem appropriately and pin along the fabric. Don't be afraid to use more pins. It's not gonna hurt you at the end of the day and it makes sure that your fabric stays straight when you're sewing it. And when you're done this, you're ready for the final step. Step five is sewing. Here you're gonna take your pin jeans and sew along the edge. Make sure to keep your seam allowance in mind, back tagging on your ends. If you have any questions about sewing, feel free to DM me, my Instagram is in the description. Now repeat steps four and five again for the other edge and to finish off the out seam, clean up the top of the triangle if needed. Now you can choose to leave your hems raw or not, but if you wanna finish them, just fold it back in and sew along that line. And if you follow all those steps, you should end up with something like this. I've made an even crazier pair of jeans, the Y2K two-tone denim design. You can click up here to watch that video. If you have any questions about sewing, leave it in the comments or DM me. My Instagram is down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.